So we're still here with the, the Global Boys and guest host Ref, and we're uh, talking, focusing this more on um, Matthew Oi, who joined uh, the Ascals through the US training camp. Uh, if you've watched the Demi Umfroy episode already, you'll know that uh, Matthew just got his bed. Uh, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> how's business? Yeah, sure, come on, we're time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, I think this is going back to one of the previous episodes as well. Uh, who were they trying to hook up again? I think it was uh, the when Bads and Misad came on the show, they were trying to, uh, they had a phone conversation and they were trying to hook each other up. Oh. So if you've got any profiles, send pictures and your CV, your resume. <laughs> and, uh, Matthew, you can go through those. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean... <laughs> sorry, sorry, please. I mean, yeah, yeah how, is, how is it? Uh, just moving. Solid, it's a good size. <laughs> <laughs> we um, still on the bed? Are we? <laughs> so uh, enough for two or, or possibly three. Really? On there, so. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> so that's enough about the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what brought you to the Philippines uh, with the US training camp and trying to move into everything there? Um, why did you go with the Philippines? Um, I came to the Philippines because uh, I was talking about Boston at Chicago. And um, also, Coach Weiss, I liked their uh, plans for the future and mm. um, the uprising of the Ascals in the future in the Philippines, but also um, around the world, gaining some respect internationally. So, um, you know, like I said before, it's an exciting time to be part of the Ascals. I think it's a good time to be part of the Ascals. Um, you know, we made history um, during Peace Cup, and we look forward to Suzuki Cup and then eventually World Cup qualifiers. So I just think it's a good time to be um, in the mix and just a um, good time for you know, Philippine football, more importantly. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, the Peace Cup, you won the midfielder of the tournament award. So obviously, congratulations on that. And congratulations to everyone involved, uh, all, all of you for, the, for the winning the Peace Cup. Um, though you won the midfielder of the award, you s you naturally, you play as a left back, right? Yeah, um, I originally thought I was going to be playing left back coming into the Ascals. Um, I ended up playing, I think I ended up playing center mid, like one friend, one scrimmage between us we had before Chica before uh, Chicago Inferno. I played center mid and I guess ever since then I've been playing. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer center mid more just because I like to get on the ball and, you know, left back, uh, you don't see the ball as much as you would like to. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so that's where that's how I started playing center mid for the Ascals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. So you, you never played center mid before? Uh, I mean, I played center mid in college. For college, right? Yeah. So uh, I guess I have some experience. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your your which which college was that you were playing for? I went to Fairfield University in Connecticut. And then your team after that, I think it's your last professional team. I uh, just found this out earlier today, actually. I think it's the best name for a football team ever. Uh, the Long Island Rough Riders. Um, that was good. <laughs> you, you played with them for a year. That was in the, the same di division as the Chicago Inferno. Yeah. How is the US football compared to Philippine football in that respect? Could you compare the, the PDL um, to the UFL, for example? Yeah, um, I think we, our team, we had a really good team. We went, we, uh, went to the Final Four, and we lost to uh, the team that won it all. And uh, PDL is basically a uh, league in the summer where college players play to stay in shape or, you know, ex-professionals come back or stuff like that. So, I mean, I think the Ascals got a taste of what PDL was like. I mean, it was a tough game for us. Um, the scoreline maybe didn't reflect. They scored three really good goals, or at least one really good goal. But um, I think PDL is a good level. Um, I, it's tough to say if it's as good as UFL because I haven't really seen UFL, yeah. but I know a lot of good college soccer players play there that, um, you know, could go pro. So I think it's a good level, good standard of play. So we'll open it up a, a bit here. Demi is, uh, is Matthew's housemate. How, how is it getting to know Matthew? Obviously you guys were coming in with the, the training camp, the US training camp. Um, Share with us a, a little bit about Matthew. How is he more off the pitch, behind the camera, and uh, off off camera <coughs> rather? Uh, well, he may look like a shy guy, but he's <laughs> you know, he's outgoing, he's cool, and uh, we're pretty laid back. So it's nice to kind of have an American mate, um, you know, to you know come back. Um, that sounds weird, but like just to hang out, with, you know. <laughs> anyway, you, you do have your new bed, so it's yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> go through the bed. So I mean, Matthew, uh, how long were you? We're staying in Argentina, right? 
You, s uh, you stay there? For a week, for when a week? I was younger, I was with the national team in the U.S. and we traveled a bit. And uh, we stayed in Argentina for about like six months with training camps and tournaments. And um, yeah, it was obviously a good experience, you know, playing in Argentina, like playing against good teams. And you know, going to get, we saw Boca versus River about mm. two times. So that's an experience by itself. But um, yeah, obviously it's, it was a great experience for me personally. We also stayed in Florida residency program, which residency w in your youth is like, that's where everybody wants to be at uh, when you're oh, growing up. Nice. You know, that's like the, it's like where the f where the national team stays. You know, so it's, I think it was like where IMG Academy or something like that, right? Yeah, I was there for my actually my whole high school career. I was there. Uh, I graduated with uh, Josie Altidore and uh, Brooke Shea. I don't know if you guys know. He's I guess the most popular graduates from there. But um, yeah, it was great. It was we went to the U17 World Cup qualifying as World Cup, and um, I mean. I would love to do that if I was 17 again. <laughs> it was the best time of my life. Aside from yeah. the Philippines. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's really impressive. And Patrick, how is it dealing with, with Matthew? Uh, what, what, what are his best qualities um, on the pitch, off the pitch? Uh, how has it been with him, with the Ascot squad? Uh, really, he, I think he really fits into this um, global squad. We like really funny group. And we like love to go. We hang out again. And we take a lot of dinner together. Yeah. And <laughs> then no. But so apparently there is room in the bed for three. Slept over a few times. No, but uh, <laughs> made it's to go nice. on the pitch. I think Matthew's like have kind of genius in it. In the central mid, he have some movements. But like he can, when you see he's really genius, and then the the he have really got built up to open the game. You know, you don't need too much touch to just change the sides. Like really good and really exciting to play with him together. In global and Ascals. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I agree with Patrick. I'll go in depth because. When I think when like when he says stuff like he's a genius, I think like he's really smart with the ball. It's kind of a and yeah. it's and when Matt gets the ball, you can tell like you know first five touches you're like oh he's really good with the ball to see he's really smooth and so going off what Patrick was just saying is he gets the ball to his feet and everybody knows like oh he's yeah, he's a good quality player he's moving the ball around and so I think that we're almost like how could you be a left back dude you're definitely like a distributor center mid. Passing skills. Yeah. Really, really good. So we'll take a <laughs> <laughs> it clearly shows that there's <coughs> room for three in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna ask Matthew about um, I I can I won't ask any more about his fo football career because he obviously shown it in Peace Cup, mm. uh, even coming up coming in from uh, as a sub. Um, I'm just gonna ask that um, uh, besides being a Filipino. You have a Chinese family name, and then uh, you're an American citizen also. Uh, but uh, do you have an Italian blood, right? Is yeah, um, I'm actually, I guess, more Italian than Filipino. Um, my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in terms of blood wise. <laughs> Can we get a close up of the image? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but uh, just because my. Yeah. My dad's grand, uh, my dad's dad is from Chinese Taipei, so um, oh, so right. I'm not full. I'm not 50% uh, Filipino, but um, I grew up Filipino with Filipino roots. Um, yeah. My mom's side of the family is Italian. Doesn't really have that much family around here in New York. So, and my dad has a big family, a big Filipino family in New York. So I grew up, you know, with Filipino um, traditions and backgrounds, stuff like that, and food. So. Um, Coming here, it's nice. So so don't, don't sorry. Don't worry about being not not being half Filipino, fifty percent. Yeah. because look at Josh Boone, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks he's Filipino? He could be Josh, Josh, the white guy. <laughs> 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 he could be Josh Boone. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's good. Mm. And you mentioned the food as well with the Filipino food. What's your favorite Filipino food here? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess my favorite. 
shake is Buko Shake. I know. Okay. <laughs> I love Buko Shake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Dimitri love ordering from Yellow Cab. <laughs> we're not really much of a cookers. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, uh, we eat out every night, actually. <laughs> so That's like uh, no, no exaggeration. We really do eat out. Yeah, and we have every morning uh, Starbucks. Really so <laughs> a very professional <laughs> diet and yeah, healthy so lifestyle. <laughs> so we're getting yeah. there. Maybe we'll hire a cook. <laughs> we can learn to cook, or else we'll just meet someone that cooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, because the bit is big. So yeah, <laughs> no, I think that jokes. Well, to find out more about Matthew Oi, uh, if you want to apply as a, a live-in cook or uh, <laughs> or anything, uh, do get in touch. Uh, I think the, his his Twitter handle is up there on the on the screen. And for more updates on how many more they can fit in that bed, uh, just follow us at, at TW Sports. <laughs>